Welcome, my name is Dana Davis of Sonoma Body Balance. I'm a certified yoga teacher and a certified teacher of the Balance Posture Method. I've been teaching people since 1997 how to shift out of painful, tense, uncomfortable postures to healthy, natural, pain-free posture. Do you feel uncomfortable when you're sitting in a chair for a long time? When you're at a meeting or in a class, do you end up squirming and shifting around to try to get comfortable? It's pretty common. There are a couple mistakes that people make when they're sitting and I'd like to help you shift out of painful, tense postures where you might be squirming around and trying to get comfortable and show you how you can get comfortable so you can sit for hours pain-free. So first of all, here's what most people do to start with. Most people are trying to have what they think of as good posture. And to do that, they usually try to sit up straight like this. Now notice that my back is really arched. So it's tense. I'm basically using my muscles to hold me up, not my bones. This is what I used to do when I used to work at a job where I was at the computer all day. I'd start out the day and I'd be all trying to sit up straight, trying to have good posture, and then my back would get tired. And after a while, I'd start slumping, and then by the end of the day, this is how I looked. And then my shoulders would be sore, and I'd be thinking, gosh, I really would love a shoulder massage right now. And then it would go back and forth. Oh, I should sit up straight. And then I get tired. Back and forth. Okay, does that ever happen to you? Or you're at a meeting and you're crossing your legs. That's not comfortable. And then you turn this way and that way. Maybe you sit on your leg or your foot or something. So here's what you can do to get a healthy, natural, comfortable posture. This is based on studying people in less industrialized parts of the world. What we're going to do first of all is pull our feet back under the chair. Relax your belly. I'm going to bend from the hip crease. I'm going to bend forward. I'm going to lift up and aim the front of my pelvis towards the chair. Now we call that the fig leaf area because it's easy for people to understand. Think of the front of your pelvis, the fig leaf area, you know, where a statue would have a fig leaf. So now I'm on my sits bones. I want to sit on my sits bones. Those are those bones underneath you that are hard. You'll feel them on the chair. And then I'm just resting against the back of the chair. I'm not trying to sit up straight anymore. I'm relaxing and letting the chair hold me. So this is much easier, way more efficient. I'm not wasting all that energy by tensing muscles that I don't need to tense. From here you can relax your belly, let your front ribs drop down towards your pelvis, relax your legs. Don't hold the legs together, there's no need to do that. Let your feet come out at the same angle as your thighs, so the feet aren't turned in towards each other, they're not turned too far out, they're in a slight V that's mirroring the V in the thighs. And you can take each shoulder back and down gently. You can draw your chin in towards your throat. And then bring your face up to a place where it's vertical, where it's parallel to the wall. Your nostril will be about at the level of your earlobe. Here you can relax. You can sit here for hours and be really, really comfortable. Now most of us tend to sit like this. I don't recommend crossing your legs. First of all, it cuts off the circulation, it makes you asymmetrical. And as you can see, my pelvis pulled forward, so I'm tucking my pelvis now. We could say I'm actually sitting on my back. Most people, you know, it actually can be even more extreme. Most people are sitting on their sacrum. Um, at least their tailbone. Okay, so you can see what's happening to my back. My head has to come forward to compensate for this. So if you find yourself in a meeting and you notice your fig leaf area has come up, you can do what we call refigging. Okay, so to do that, again, pull your feet back under the chair, relax your belly, bend at your hips. You're going to lift up, aim the fig leaf area towards the chair, lean back against the chair, let yourself rest against the back of the chair. Relax your belly, let your front ribs drop towards your pelvis, relax your legs, make sure they're soft. Your ankles go about underneath your knees, the feet go out at the same angle as your thighs. You can take each shoulder back and down gently, draw your chin in to stretch your neck, and then bring your face up to vertical. So next time you're at a meeting, or at a class, or at an all-day seminar, and you're worried about being pain being in pain all day long, give this a try, and I think you'll be really happy with the results. For more information, 
You can check out my website, which is www.sonomabodybalance.com. There you'll find a link to my blog, which has lots of articles on back pain and posture and tips for standing and sitting pain-free. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're more and more comfortable in your body the more you practice this.